Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? Hope you all are alright. Well then. So today we are going to start our lesson number 49, unit number 5, The Rain, written by, you know very well about this. So who wrote this poem? Okay. Let's focus on the theme. Again, this is very much important that to understand the poem, we must focus on the theme of the poem. W.H. Daly's favorite themes are nature and the hardship of the poor. Two subjects are there, nature and hardship of the poor. This is the basically theme of W.H. Davis. This poem also has a symbolic meaning. Symbolic meaning. Yeah. What is symbolic meaning? The apple leaves get the raindrops and quench their thirst. Afterwards, they pass on the drops to draw other leaves. It means that this metaphor means that the rich get a golden chance first and whatever remains trickle down to the poor people. But the poet hopes that there would be equality in the society, just like the sunshine. Jaisi ke suraj ki roshni, sabko equal milti hai, kanuni kudrat ke mutabik sabko equal milta hai. He said that ek kisi to dunia mein ek dafa, ek vakt aayega ki equality hogi, which spread all over the world equally. This sunshine is both for the dark rock, round rope of rain and rich green leaves yani tarik pat tarik katron ke liye bhi khushi khushi vaisi hai aur green patton ke liye bhi vaisi hai jo rich people ko represent karte hain sabke liye ek jaisa kanoon hai according to law of nature now these are some quotations you must add quotation in the summary the rain has a musical effect the rain represents a charming scene the universal law of nature that there is a pleasure after sorrow and misery after day the rain is a symbolic poem represents conditions of society. Upper leaves rich represent rich gets golden chance first, then remaining trickles down to the lower leaves mean towards poor. Clear? Now look at this model summary. This this will be uh, helpful. It will be helpful in your uh, uh, summary material if you are going to make your own summary. So this poem is written by W. H. Davis. He represents the scene of rain. It seems that poet is sitting under the tree. Raindrops fall on the top leaves. He hears the leaves drinking the raindrops. The upper leaves are saturated. And then they give the lower leaves drop after drop. The noise of the leaves drinking rain is charming. The rain will stop soon. The sun will come out. It will spread light everywhere. It will fill every dark round rope with light. It will be lovely sight. So this is little bit material, so a helping material you can say. Let's try to make our own summary. Right? Urdu sentences, little bit small sentences and translate into English. In other words, W.H. Davis ne likhi hai. This poem is written by W.H. Davis. So simple. Ye gilamti nazam hai. This is a, or it is a symbolic poem. Shair Barish ka mandar pesh karte hai. The poet represents the scene of rain. So simple. Nazam Barish ki mausikir ke zahar hai. This poem is a, what? This poem is a, is haar hai. Ye nazam. Barish ki So display of rain This poem is a musical display of rain This poem is a expression of music Barish ke baad dhok ka mandar til kash hai After rain The sunshine scene is very attractive Shair patton ka barish ke paani ka jazz karna sunta hai The poet is listening The water drink as the leaves are drinking water the, the leaves are saturated by the water. बहुत सी चीजें कर सकते हैं। सेराब होने के बाद ऊपर वाले पत्ते नीचे वाले पत्तों को कतरा कतरा पानी देते हैं। The apple leaves after saturated gives drop after drop to the lower leaves. तो आप किसी भी तरीके से जब आपको tenses पे grip है, you can easily translate these sentences into English and you can make your own summary. So try your level best to make summary in Urdu, then translate into English. But after that you must add quotations in the beginning, middle of, uh, and the, at the end of the poem okay, to make your poem attractive and to get good marks so barish ki paani ko peene ke patton ke awaaz dilkash hai so simple barish ki baad suresh tari gol katron ko jamka deta hai simple iske zari shahara hai dousro ke mufid banne ka mashad hai the poet gives us advice to become good for others to become beneficial for others 
कि जैसे सूरज दूसरों को रोशनी दे रहे हैं उनको फायदा पहुंचा रहा है तारीख कतरों को रोशन कर देता है सेम एज बींग ह्यूमन वी शुड बी गुड फॉर अदर्स ओके दिस इज हिडन मैसेज इन इट शायद फितरत का कानून पेश करता है तो सिंपल हर खुशी के बाद दुख है गम के बाद खुशी है बारिश के बाद दो बदहाली से खुशी में तब्दीली है दिस इज देंटेंस आज आफ्टर बारिश के बाद धूप आफ्टर रेन द सनशाइन इज जस्ट लाइक अगली हैप्पीनेस आफ्टर एडवर्सिटी आफ्टर ग्रीफ ओके तो ट्राई योर लेवल बेस्ट टू मेक योर ओन सेंटेंसेस एंड देन ट्रांसलेट इन टू इंग्लिश सो सिंपल सेंटेंसेज जस्ट ट्राई योर लेवल बेस्ट टू मेक सिंपल सेंटेंसेज सिंपल स्मॉल सेंटेंसेज ओके बेटा लुक एट दिस एक्टिविटी राइट सेंट्रल आइडिया ऑफ दिस पॉइंट कि जो नजर हमने पढ़ी इसका सेंट्रल आइडिया बनाना है यू नो वेरी वेल दैट यू मेड सम डिफरेंट सेंटेंसेस फॉर द समरी सेम एज मेक सिंपल सेंटेंसेस फॉर द सेंट्रल आइडिया वन थर्ड ऑफ समरी इज कॉल्ड सेंट्रल आइडिया यू मेक यू कैन मेक ऑन योर योर ऑन सेंट्रल आइडिया आल्सो व्हिच विल बी योर कॉन्टेक्स्ट इफ यू आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द रेफरेंस इन कॉन्टेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो इट विल बी योर कॉन्टेक्स्ट आल्सो सो ट्राई योर लेवल बेस्ट टू मेक सिंपल सेंटेंसेस इस पूरी समरी जो आपने बनाई है उसका छोटा सा एक आ, 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 जो है सेंट्रल आइडिया निकाल लें उसी समरी की लाइन से भी निकाल सकते हैं दिस इज योर होम टास्क ट्राई योर लेवल बेस्ट टू सॉल्व दिस दीज एक्टिविटीज विद इंटरेस्ट ओके सो डोंट फॉरगेट दैट इफ यू हैव एन इंटरेस्ट यू कान डू एनी थिंग यू कान मेक थिंग्स इजी फॉर यू ऑल द बेस्ट टेक केयर अल्लाह हाफिज